Hi there, I'm Dominic, the Butcher, and today I'm going to talk to you about the crowbar. Made from solid steel, it's virtually indestructible, giving it extremely high skull smashing capabilities. It's cheap and available at any hardware store for under $20. It can double as a prying tool to bust open locks or doors, but one does not simply swing a crowbar and expect undead armies to fall. When most people pick up a crowbar and try to use it as a weapon, they always lead with the menacing hook part first. Now Brad Pitt made the same mistake when he got his hook stuck inside the skull of a zombie he just killed, and he barely got it out in time to smash the other one lunging at him. Don't strike with the hook. Use the flat backside. With an accurate strong swing and the added weight at the top, the crowbar is a one-shot kill. If you start getting tired after a day of killing zombies, the last thing you want is to have your weapon slip out of your hands. Turn the crowbar around and use the hook to keep your hand from sliding off of it. For extra insurance, add a wrist strap. The crowbar can be pretty heavy for those who don't lift, so it's important to practice your swings using as much hip as possible. Use your hips and your core to generate the power behind the swing and your arms just guide the strike for accuracy. Just like hitting a baseball or taking a slap shot, use this technique for any weapon to get that skull hole in one. Stay sharp, survivors. Yeah.